there is a path that stretches 400 kilometers from Ravenna in northern Italy to Florence. The path terminates back in Ravenna, but the return journey is very different. It is named the Camino di Dante. Over 700 years ago, Dante took shelter in and around the mountainous towns of northern Italy after being exiled from Florence for his political allegiance. In fear of potentially being burnt at the stake, he ventured to Ravenna, where he eventually died of malaria aged 56 in 1321. The pilgrimage, which was designed to commemorate the great poet's enduring impact, begins and ends at his final resting place. Passing through the dense forested mountains, Long winding streams and through sparsely populated towns abandoned by the modern world. The road meanders through the torment of hell, the emptiness of purgatory. towards the shared euphoric pathways into paradise. It is said that Dante's masterpiece, The Divine Comedy, took over 12 years to complete. But the foundations of the story, as with most epic tales, stretch back much further. Drawing upon past loves and fears, Dante poured himself into the world around him and onto the pages of one of the greatest stories ever told. The Divine Comedy, a man's journey through hell and purgatory before finally reaching paradise. Dante's tomb is both haunting and magnificent, setting the tone for what lies ahead. And as you take the first steps from this beginning and end point, the sentiment of mankind's restless contemplation of eternity occupies your thoughts.
the path to paradise begins in hell. Modern writers equip themselves with a laptop inside a comfortable house, reporting every two minutes on Twitter how many words they have written, thirsty for encouragement. But most will never know real hardship. Perhaps this is why the great writers reside in the merciless tundras of the past. In exile, Dante must have surely felt every word of the Divine Comedy's exploration of the squalor and majesty of the human experience. The heat, the sun, the morning haze, the flora, the fauna, and slow timeless days. Insects and birds and butterflies and bees, long grass, mud, and the shade from the trees. The cooling wind fresh on your face. Fast running water from place to place. Look up, look down, look left, look right. New things to see each day and each night. The House of Dante marks the halfway point of the journey. It is a museum built in the 19th century, sitting on the 13th century site of properties owned by Dante's family. Inside, documents relating to his exile serve as a poignant reminder of Dante's personal hell. Further exhibitions celebrate the impact of his writing. And of that second kingdom will I sing, wherein the human spirit doth purge itself, and to ascend into heaven becometh worth. Thou hast at length arrived at purgatory. I saw a portal and three stairs beneath diverse in colour to go up to The journey back to Ravenna is difficult. High mountain passes broken up by farmland stretching to the horizon. Torturous 10 hour walks while being kissed by the hot sun are energy sapping. But if you stand still for a moment, the creatures of the forest sneak out of the shadows.
The man in the picture lives nine kilometers from Ravenna, around halfway from the first stop on the path. In his garden, you can see many magnificent creations. If you are lucky enough to meet him, he will enthusiastically take you on a detour into his beautiful mind. The Camino de Dante is his creation. <laughs>